Good morning, everybody. Ha! How is it? If you're hearing any noise, just know that the neighbor's gen is on. I don't know why Nepal is just frustrating us in this country. Noise everywhere, generator. I don't know. Anyway, today is Saturday and there are some things I have to do today. So, this is going to be Saturday in the life of a jobless, <laughs> lazy Nigerian youth. So, um, I just finished my morning duties. I washed some clothes and some other things though. I'm going to the market today. I'm going to make um egusi and afa. I'm going to Yanoba market and I just buy one or two things that I'll use, although we have some things at home. So I'm just going to take you guys along. Right now I want to make my breakfast. I'm going to make um just bread and egg and seed i'll just use to go to market i'll just take my bath Hi. Okay, so while I'm eating my breakfast, before I rush to the market, let's chat small. No, help me today. I'm lactose intolerant, meaning my body does not like milk, does not digest milk. But sometimes I can be stubborn and I take milk just because I'm tired. Like when my mates are taking milk in their tea, I'm drinking water because I can't obviously drink tea without milk. But maybe like once in three months I can stubbornly take tea or take milk and today is one of those days and I'm going to the market it's got that help. Oh I saw something on YouTube I think two days ago. Actually a YouTuber Dera Gizel, I think you guys should know her, she's a Nigerian lifestyle YouTuber. She posted a video about why Igbos waste money to build mansions in their villages and it's not like she was bashing Igbos, that was like just um, the title and the thumbnail but obviously she was trying to explain why Igbos do that and if you are non Igbo on my platform you are watching me are non Igbo and you don't know but you feel like maybe what she explained is not enough there's something my dad used to say he would tell you that Igbos don't be born through it <laughs> Igbos are not born through it meaning we know where we are from we always acknowledge where we are from wherever the state is, wherever the village is and in the comment section there was a guy that replied under my comment because I was like this is why Igbo do it so the guy replied under my comment that it doesn't make sense why will you build a house that nobody is living in he said it's incurring more cost and liability blah 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 Shall long story short he was like it doesn't make sense that you're not supposed to do such that money you used to build that mansion you used to like help people develop your state and all Shall long story I just told him that you won't understand if you're not Igbo you will not understand there's nothing like when you have a house in your villa where you know that whenever you retire and you want to go back you have somewhere comfortable to live just like Dara said in the years of the civil war where nigerians and biafrans fought and all they were very rich Igbos because we know Igbos are industrious Igbos <laughs> you want to argue that one Igbos always want to make money and stuff they confiscated all the Igbo people their property they confiscated everything they send them back to east without nothing except i think 2020 naira between 20 couple i can't really remember that time and 
most of the Igbos that were in Lagos, they didn't really have to understand in the East. So maybe that was what now gave them that mindset. Although we still get that home for mine because no matter where we are, as far as you're an Igbo person, you always want to go back home. 99% of Igbo people want to be buried in their house in the village. In the village, you don't go die for Lagos, they go bury for Lagos or die. Okay, even abroad, people that die abroad, they cargo or we build their body back to Nigeria to bury the Igbo. So we already have that home mentality in our mind. Most Igbo that hustle everywhere in the world, at their old age, most of them are not on. They want to come back home. You see, old people. That have lived in different countries, they are in their house in Google. The ones that didn't come back, once they die, even before they die, they instruct their children to bury them in the village. How will you be living your life and hustling everywhere else? Then your compound in the village is looking like where my people are staying. You need to do look, you need to like, you know, go to the village now, you see big, big houses. People are looking where they came from because that's the right thing to do i don't care how much you spend there i don't care if it's a mansion or not go to anambra go to emo you see so many and other Igbo stays so many beautiful houses of people that stay in different places because you know that they will still go back home they have people at home understand they want to make them their people proud at least maybe wait there around and not see their son or their daughter <coughs> it's uh, it's around she gets and then whenever you retire to go home, you have a mansion, you have a place to call home. It must not really be a big mansion or stuff, at least the developed area. So I don't really know what to say again because you might not understand if you are not an evil person. But that's why Igbos um, waste or spend money in the East. <coughs> Igbos, our tradition, don't behave anyhow because we have where we are coming from. That's always in our mind. Home. 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 When you grow old, you go back home. When you die, you bury in your home. Not in the west or any other place. In the east, in your home. That's where you are buried. Most Igbos. I know what I'm saying most because some don't forget where they come from. Some, some are actually born through it. So that's why I say most. Why some? Not really born through it. Circumstance. You know, condition I make with his bed. So they cannot do that. But most people have to do Some. They even travel abroad. Even if they will not come back, they have people around. They send money to do stuff in their village houses. I know people that do that. Maybe their dad or their brothers or their sisters or somebody is helping them to do something. It's still development in the family. So it's not a bad thing. Instead, it's we moving, pushing ourselves forward, going forward. I would like to be living in Lagos, hustling in Lagos. And my house in the village is looking like where rats or my people are living or I'm abroad I'm hustling and making money and I don't have a building in my villa I don't have a good house where whenever I come back if I want to come back or if not whatever I don't have something to call my own in my home it doesn't make sense so that's why even people do that that's just what I'm just clear yeah so that's all about that let me eat my food please. Guys, I know that you guys will see. I'm always with my face cap, but the sun is hot, man, like a heater. The sun is hot like a heater. Me, yeah, I'm hot. You are hot. Like a heater. Yes. I'm hot like a heater. Yes. <laughs> like a heater. <laughs> I bet the sun is very hot. Anyway, I'm on my way to the market now, and yeah. This one hundred. Three five fifty. I'll be three five hundred. Give me this one three five hundred. Eh? I won't buy here, I won't buy here.
You have spring onion. How do you say? How much is this one? Fifty two hundred. Hey! Two hundred. Wait up, we don't scarce. This one. Jesus. Guys, we don't two hundred. Outside can kiss somebody. Someone. Child. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got. Guys, if you are hearing any noise, my neighbor's gym is on as usual. So I um, grinded a goosey. Yeah, this grinded a goosey. What I leave for the afang soup I want to cook. This is afang or okay or okay. Then I bought live chicken and this shit is scary. <gasps> Oh, um, this is my onions. I bought onions. This onions is what I bought. Then I bought tomatoes and pepper for stew. And this is carrots, guys. Look at carrots, two hundred naira. Just look at green pepper, two hundred. Oh. Oh. Then this stock fish I have at home already, so I'm going to use this for the afang. I bought spring onion. Okay, so this is my isam. We already have meat at home. This is the meat I'm going to be using for the egusi. I'm cooking egusi right now. Then afang will be in the evening or maybe later on. Then I also bought uziza for the egusi. The weather, can you imagine today? Why I see make I feel eh? Look at everywhere, it's dark because of the rain. See how dark this kitchen is. I don't know how, whether you guys will see what I'm doing. So, I decided to use my flash. This is my meat, just in case I don't show you guys anything again. This is my meat, this is my fish boiling. I have my um, uzuza, my dry fish, my goosey crayfish, pepper, some red pepper that we use for the aesthetic of it and my okazi so it's like I'm going to use flash to put this food like I'm literally crying, rain, why? ah god, tell me just spoil my day today eh, look at today that I didn't let me film, I've not filmed for two weeks like I've not held my phone camera for two weeks no rain today I didn't let me film Struggles of a Nigerian YouTuber. Anyway, Sha, I know I, I went far just in case the, the video quality is bad or you're not seeing what I'm doing. It's rain, it's Lagos rain. <laughs>
guys i'm done for today even though the rain wanted to like spoil my shine all of a sudden from nowhere with that hot sun you guys saw the rain just started falling and i was trying to cook and get my angles the rain just started i was like oh my god and i don't have a ring light yet i'm tired man it's not easy it's not easy being a youtuber it's not easy at all you are trying to set get your um, space and you're trying to set your angles get your angles other factors are frustrating you if you are staying with your family the noise rain generator weather everything man it's not easy i've been stressed out anyways after i finished the egusi soup i was making then i made a fan soup although i didn't really show i didn't really want to bore you guys with the whole process but i'll just you know show something i mean it was very nice and very tasty it came out very very tasty <laughs> Even my family was like, mm, try it. My sister was just shouting, you try it, you try it. Yes. So guys, um, I just want to take my bath and go to bed. I don't know if I'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow because I'm to make stew tomorrow and do some other things. Anyways, um, okay, I'll just end this vlog here. I beg, I don't try, man. I have tried. Well, I want to upload a video today about how to make fondant icing. So if you're a baker and you want to learn how to make fondant icing, all weather fondant icing, not any, not any fondant icing, designer fondant icing. If you love to learn how to make fondant icing, check out that video. I'll leave the link in the description box. I also uploaded a video where I went to Oyibo Market. Yes, to go and pick up something. Shabu, I shall vlog. The market if you love that video is in the description box then i uploaded i have so many videos cake videos vlogs sit down videos even the video about customers in nigeria how their wala is too much especially those ones that other things online i have a video about that on my channel i'm going to link all so yeah do just subscribe to my channel if you love this fine face even if you don't love this fine face just subscribe like this video support me and you can always suggest video because as a creator i will always say this content is scarce so you can always suggest something you love me to make like a video yeah so that's the end of this vlog i will see you guys in my next one